we can actually use Word to help us create envelopes for sending things in the mail. And with Word, we can go and we can put whatever we want on the envelope, some text, some images, and we can set some settings for how to print it using our printer. Let's have a look. And under mailings on the left hand side, we have envelopes. I'm going to click on envelopes and it's going to launch a separate dialog box where I can go in and start to set things up. I'm going to go in here and I can type my delivery address. I can come in here, I can type my return address and I can do a bit of font formatting as well. Down here, we get a bit of a preview of our envelope. So maybe up here, I'll type in a, a fake address. There we go. And then I can also come down here and type in my return address. Maybe just for the sake of example, I will copy this one and paste it into the return address here. That's fine. And what we can also do is we can go in and we can set some envelope options, such as the size of the envelope and any font formatting. To do that, I'm going to go down here to the options button. When you click options, it launches a separate dialog box that consists of two tabs here at the top, my envelope options and my printing options. So under envelope options here, here I can choose the actual size of the envelope. And if you use the drop-down list, here's all the standard envelope sizes I can choose from. I'll use the size 10, which is a very standard envelope size. Over here, we've got our font formatting for both the delivery address and the return address. I can click the font button for delivery address. This will launch the font dialog box and I can come in here, change the font, change the font style, the size, any of these things that I'd like to do. I can even change the font color here if I'd like. When you're done, press OK. And same for the return address, click on font, launches the font dialog box. Again, it can make my changes and press OK. Once I'm happy with the envelope options, I can go look at the printing options. And here I just want to set how my envelope is actually feeding into the printer. And you can see all these different ways that's going to feed in if it's in the top left or the tray or the top right or the center, or maybe it's feeding in portrait or landscape. You're going to choose how your envelope goes in. And this is going to vary from printer to printer. You can also say if it goes in face up, face down, and you can even see specify which tray to feed from for the printer you have set up on your computer. After you're done setting up your envelope options, I'm gonna press OK. That takes us back here. And once I'm happy with all of this stuff, I can come in here and I can press Add to Document. When I press that, it's gonna give me a little warning here because I use an address. It's asking me if I wanna use this as the default return address so I don't have to type it in in the future. I'm gonna say no and it takes me to my document. And you can see what happened is it put my envelope out here. Here's all of my text. And if I just scroll down, you can see it put my envelope above my blank page in my document. And this would be nice so I can print out my envelope and then immediately after have my, envelope, uh, my letter that's going in the envelope print out as well. And on the envelope, you can highlight your text. You can do any of your formatting by going to say the home tab and add clip art and pictures, anything you'd like at all. If you just wanna print envelopes and not have the letter as well. We're going to do the same process, but when you click on envelopes here, instead of saying add to document, we can just go over here, we can press the print button, and that'll immediately send the envelope to our printer.